Welcome to a very special edition of Grandma's Cookbook, where it was Mother's Day over the weekend, and I decided to make something for Mom. Now, I know that she really likes chocolate-covered coffee beans, and much to my surprise, there is no recipe for chocolate-covered coffee beans in the cookbook, so I went with something as close as possible to that, which turned out to be coffee layer cake with a mocha chocolate frosting. So let's get into it. To kick this off, you're going to need yourself one half cup of shortening plus one cup of sugar and cream together. Once creamed, you're going to stir in two slightly beaten eggs and one teaspoon of vanilla and then stir all that together. Now you're going to set that wet mixture aside because now we got to sift together all the dry mixture, which consists of two cups of flour, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and three tablespoons of instant coffee of your choice. Sift that all together as instructed, and then you're going to alternatively incorporate this into the wet mixture with two-thirds cup of milk until the batter is completely incorporated. There's probably a better word than incorporated. It's just kind of my crutch at this point, but anyway. Now that the batter is complete, you're going to take your two 9-inch cake pans, grease them accordingly, and split the batter up as best you can between the two. And as you can see here, I had a little bit of a hard time eyeballing it. And then these are going to go into a 375-degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. While that's going on, we're going to go ahead and make the mocha chocolate frosting. Get yourself another bowl and get three tablespoons of butter or margarine and then cream it. So I guess I just kind of stirred it around for a bit. Next, you're going to make sure you don't do what I did and accidentally add three tablespoons of instant coffee to this and go by what the recipe actually says and dump out the excess coffee. Make sure it's about a tablespoon's worth and then put in three tablespoons of cocoa along with that. Then you're going to blend all of those together until it kind of turns into this black clumpy mess. I really had, don't have a very good descriptor for what it turns into, but you can tell once all the powder has kind of made contact with the butter and kind of hydrated in a sense. Once that's all combined together and kind of looks like this, you're going to go ahead and add your three teaspoons of heavy cream and then mix all that together. Next, we're ready for sifting round two this time with two cups of confectioner sugar, and then add to that one teaspoon of vanilla, and then mix that all together. And if you end up having trouble like I did with the frosting where it seems like it doesn't want to really turn into frosting, go ahead and add a little bit more of the heavy cream and then it'll instantly turn back into frosting. Set the frosting aside and after 25 to 30 minutes, check your cakes. And if they're done, pull them out and let them cool completely on wire racks. Now I'm going to show you a very good reason why you should have two utensils for this. One, a completely flat surface to do your frosting on, and maybe an offset spatula. I didn't have either of these things, and you're going to see how comically awkward it is trying to frost this cake. But do your best to put some in between the layers and also on top. The frosting also called for some walnuts, so you can go ahead and sprinkle those right on top. And there you have it. Coffee layer cake with chocla, chocla, and I cannot say that word, chocolate mocha frosting. And how's the taste? The flavor is good, but I think there's a couple of things that could have been done to improve this because it turned out incredibly dry. Some of that might have been because I let it sit overnight in a fridge covered. But I think if I just cut this down and put it into only one nine inch cake pan, it would probably have turned out a little better. And I let it sit out on the counter covered instead of being chilled. But flavor was great. It reminded me a lot of coffee ice cream. Uh, I would recommend this with maybe a few adjustments to it, but give it a shot. Happy Mother's Day. To all the mothers out there, and we'll see you next week on another edition of Grandma's Cookbook.